I'm excited. Today was a really good day. We're really, really, really excited, as always. <laughs> uh, this weekend we have a conference, and then we have a meeting, and then another meeting. So, Blue we'll bear. figure it out. What do you got there? Blue bear. Bagels! Alright, we'll be back. Happy Saturday! Welcome to episode 42 of in the kitchen with Corbin and Kelly. <laughs> yeah, so we're actually on our way to see our coaches and mentors, which is pretty awesome. Super excited, as always. And we got the spectacles, so we're gonna have a good time for sure. I'm really excited because it's a nice day outside for once. So, yeah. What about you, Kelly? You excited? Always excited. As always, all right. So, let's get it going. Thank you. Oh. You're so sweet. What's that? Flowers! Who got you those? Got me flowers. Oh, I got flowers, boy. What do flowers? Thank you. Oh, good. What are they? Roses? Yeah. They're gonna last forever. I love them. I love you. I love you. Hmm. So, as a puppy, you got an ice cube. You got an ice cube up? Oh, eyes. Eyes! Eyes! <laughs> eyes! All right, so just to update everyone on what's going on, we got a puppy and uh, yeah. So today we're gonna learn how to make a martini because apparently no one knows how to make one. If you don't know how to make a martini, you're gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. Also, I don't know if any of you guys watch Rick and Morty, new episode this weekend, super excited about that. Just like everything else, your life is super exciting. So, let's go make a martini. Hey guys. I'm making a martini. Um, welcome to skydiving with Corbin and Kelly. I thought we were underwater basket weaving. Oh yeah. That's what I went to college for. That's a good degree to have. Yeah. I have yet to have a bartender. Um, two bartenders in my life. Mochi. Shh. Mochi's excited for Martini. Hey! Hey! <laughs> He's so cute. Two bartenders in my life have ever made a martini, a dirty martini for me correctly. So, um, and I, it's very upsetting because it's a basic bartender drink. Like, you sh if you're a bartender, you should know how to make a dirty martini. So I did 12 counts of vodka. Um, and then we have, the store actually had like martini olives. And, which is rare, you never see that, but, um, so we got the martini ones, you can always get Spanish olives, and I like mine extra dirty, so I put a pretty solid amount of olive bread in there, and then you eat an olive <laughs> while you're making it. I always eat an olive while I'm making it. Shake it, not stir <laughs> Now, if you're like a professional like mixologist out there, 
and you're gonna sit, like comment on this like that's not how you make a dirty martini this is how i make my dirty martini so good for you So like the bartender, um, I guess ideal is three olives. That's where three olives vodka comes from. And that's a martini, how is it? Oh my God, it's so good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe below if you like what you see. We're gonna keep it coming every Saturday, Sunday evening. Uh, so it's been awesome. I'm super excited as always, which I think is my new tagline. Super excited because life's awesome. And yeah, so follow up with us next week and we'll go ahead and keep the content coming. Boom. Boom.